Hello, YouTube, Facebook, whoever's watching. I wanted to make a video about dating and the dating community. I'm sure that you heard is uh, almost non existent, that uh, people are having a tough time dating in 2023. And some people say, oh, men just got to step up. And then other people say, oh, women just have these unrealistic dating standards. And the, the truth is somewhere in the middle. But I'm not... I'm not gonna discuss the fully able body people right now. I instead am going to talk about the disabled community and our standards and what we can do about it. This might not be a very long video, by the way. So, I, for one, am having trouble dating, and I'm pretty sure every other disabled people person out there is having trouble j dating with that being said where does the problem lie with the men or with the women or you know is it 50 50 on you know the men like is it Um, have we been feeding into each other's dating problems? Have the men been sabotaging the women as well as the women sabotaging the men? And, uh, I... I, I'm not going to lie, I have a little bit of bias, and I think feminism has heavily, heavily influenced dating, um, Women have been told ever since they were little, literally ever since they were born, they've been told that they're princesses, that they can do no wrong, that they're boss babes, you know. And... You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but it's going to women's heads, and now they think they deserve a man that makes a hundred thousand, sorry, that makes five hundred thousand to a million dollars a year. And that's just not realistic. And women want a guy that is 6'2", you know, and that's only like 1% one, one of the population, depending on who you talk to. There is... You know, 
then there's men on the other they so women's solution is to just tell the men that they need to man up level up you know step up to the plate well men are like you know I I just cannot compete with these men that are making five hundred thousand one million dollars a year so they're just like you know what I'm gonna drop out of the dating market I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna try and it's not just because they can't compete it's it's a lot more than that it's like men get taken to the cleaners in divorce court and for some reason 90% of the time probably 99% of the time women win and they get all these prizes and they get basically half of everything the man owned half of his house he gets the she gets the kids um she gets all this good stuff and he's left paying alimony payments and child support payments and so men are scared to death to get into a marriage anymore um you know and men even walking up to women you know a woman if she's not in the mood to talk to you or if she thinks you're ugly or whatever she can scream rape you know or you know if she doesn't choose to go that route she can just say that you are harassing her or she can you know let you down like I I don't know if you women realize how just how how um how how hard you guys are when you let guys down you like you you can't be gentle i mean it's like why can't you be gentle why can't you just say that you're not dating right now or or you you say you know oh i got a boyfriend when it that's not true you say oh uh, you know um I don't know whatever other excuses you make you just need to tell the guy I'm not interested in dating you that that's all you need to say you don't need to tear the guy a new one uh, but I would say that there is definitely some blame on the men's part. Men have gotten weaker and more timid. 
um, testosterone in men has been on the decline for a while now, and I think you ladies need to have a little bit more empathy, and there's probably a lot more that I'm forgetting about, but I am going to leave it there for now, and I will see you guys in the next one. Please rate, comment, subscribe.